Black Holes tells the history of the universe uh, from the Big Bang right through to the universe's death. And it's a, it's a speculative fiction, it's a science fiction, so it's not, it's not real, <laughs> a real history. And um, it's, uh, it's a way of us also speaking about racism and um, blowing up our personal experiences of racism into a kind of cosmic, mythic scale. Yeah, so we kind of use Afrofuturism as a kind of tool for displacing these narratives um, that can feel quite dystopian a lot of the time and we kind of remake a world where actually these narratives kind of take centre stage through poetry and text and movement um, just kind of like squash all this matter together into a piece. We, the pocket of air, are an accident and in this accident is where something magical started to happen. Afrofuturism is uh, science fiction that uh, deals with the black experience. It can be a way of imagining better futures. It can also be a way of commenting on the sort of present and past dystopias that, that, that black people have lived. And it's rooted in um, literature and music, but not so much within dance. I mean, it's kind of starting now, we're kind of like this kind of wave of Afrofuturism um, and so we were both really interested to see what about movement and its potential could we bring to these discourses on Afrofuturism particularly from the UK because I think a lot of it tends to have come out of the US and it's a very different experience of being marginalised. Gravity decided to intervene. She could see a bit of chaos and she thought she'd better go and sort it out. So she came and started pulling different atoms together and this created a site of energy. It got very hot. Just like it did towards the end of the universe, it got very hot. We're making a stage show where we can both exist in and play and experiment and um, express and voice all these experiences. There's little question marks I think that we like putting in there that's like what, what is at stake or like what is really the impact of these experiences on two bodies that in that moment are also trying to represent, to a certain extent, more, more than ourselves. People also said that they learnt something from watching. They, they found it kind of instructive and it made them think about things that they hadn't thought about. I was orbiting with some planets, dead centre of the whirlpool galaxy. I look around and all I see is this space junk flying towards me. Prehistoric metal being rammed down my throat. Slicing and dicing through the innards of time. When did it become my job to clean up? 